Hi, everybody. Quint Lears, newhomesales.com. I'm here with Kimberly Young. Kimberly, thanks so much for joining us. Of course. My pleasure. So I want you to take a good look. This is Kimberly Young. Um, Impact Marketing. What do you do? We are a video mystery shopping company that primarily do new home sales. Hey, I like that. Now, if she's in your model home, you better turn it on and give them a great presentation because she's shopping you. Well, I right not, but maybe I will, but I don't. We do hey. have shoppers all across the country, though. Well, I'm, I'm trying to look out for the front lines. That If, they, if she's in if your model... If they mo- see me, then they're in big trouble because somebody's brought in the big guns. Really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, so tell me what you're seeing. You're doing these video shops. You're on the front lines, you know, observing. What do you see? What's the biggest mistake that you see over and over again? Honestly, I think that a lot of people do forget the simple things. They don't register the guest. So then they don't have any way to follow up. They don't have their email. They don't have their phone number. And so they're just hoping that one visit was enough. Then also we see that a lot of times they really don't listen to the client's needs or the prospect you know that is looking for a new home they have an inventory house in their mind that they need to get rid of and they're not really listening to that person saying this is what my needs are this is what my budget is so they're really not establishing a relationship with the prospective buyer so by us capturing that on camera it shows them areas where they need to improve so that they can close more deals make better sales what do you see people doing right? Like, you know, if you go in, you're like, yes, that's what I'm looking for. Depends on the builder. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on the, um, you know, I do think the most important thing is establishing a rapport with someone that walks in the door and really trying to meet exactly their needs. Be authentic and real. Don't just go after the sale because people see a salesperson if you're being salesy, but if you're actually really trying to solve their problem and find them their forever home, they find that so endearing and they're gonna buy, people buy from people. And so you have to like the home and it has to be functional. But if they don't feel as though you're honest and truthful and really listening to what they need, they're going to go to your competitor. I think that's hard though because you're video shopping. You've got a list of 10 like, did they say hi? Did they register? Did they demonstrate this versus... So what's the... Tell me what's the balance between... Okay, yes, they did all 10 uh, checks on the box. You want 100% score on your video shop and, you know, got you know, having a relationship with the customer. Well, every home builder has different criteria that they're looking for. And we do say, don't solely go by the 100 number. Some builders, it's much more important to them. They don't expect you to get the sale on the first visit. Some builders, like um, maybe a first time home buyer, would expect that a little bit more. But nobody goes into a multi-million dollar home and buys the first time they walk in the door. So I think that what each um, builder has different criteria that they're looking for and I think they use it more of a tool to see what areas are we strong in and what areas do we need to focus our training in so I don't think they expect everybody to get a hundred but it really gives a gauge of where the team is strong and they don't need to necessarily focus on and then what areas are not the strengths that they need to put additional training into to better their team to close more sales what would you say to the salesperson or company that's even offended? And I know you got to take off real soon, but um, you know that this is—I don't want to be shopped, or they're offended that you would even question them, or video, they feel like it's an intrusion. A lot of people think of mystery shops as a negative thing, but it's really supposed to be two things. Number one, it's supposed to help them improve their performance by seeing on camera things they do. And sometimes it's just body language or you don't realize that you say um a hundred times or that you're not looking at the person in the eyes. So sometimes it's as simple as that. Um, now say I lost my train of thought on the second okay. part. Um, so it's not meant to be negative. It's meant to be positive. However, a salesperson needs to also recognize that instead of looking at this negative, look at this as showing your boss, look, I'm putting into play all the training that you have given me so you can feel confident when I'm in that model home by myself that I'm doing the job that you've hired me to do. And if that person doesn't score well, their boss needs to know that because you have been hired to do a certain job. So don't look at it as a negative thing. Look at it as, I'm going to show my boss they made the correct decision in hiring me. You know, it's an investment uh, in that salesperson to even 
video shop because they can say, I don't care. I'm not going to video shop them. But they're wanting to invest to hopefully back it up with training to improve, right? Of course. I mean, you, we want to invest in these people to make them better salespeople. The sales managers want to. So you should want them to actually shop you because they want to help you become better. It's only going to make you close more sales, going to bring them more sales and the builder and the company more sales and everybody wins. Okay, two more quick questions. I know you got to go. Where do you put the camera? Because you're. I can't all... tell you that. I can't. No, we got to... Because then every salesperson, as soon as somebody walks in the door, is going to be looking for the camera. Okay. I can't tell. You okay. That. Then, okay. Then, do you ever get caught? Like you're shopping, and they're like, "Are you a shopper?" Or do you, you know what I mean? Where well, they? I would be lying if I say you never get caught. Of course. They, I mean, nothing in this life is 100% effective all the time. Most of the time, our shoppers are very well trained, and they go undetected. Um, which is why it's such a valuable tool. If it happened often, it wouldn't be valuable. Does it happen occasionally? Of course, because um, we all make mistakes, you know. But in general, no. People normally do not suspect it happens. Um, they might suspect it after the shop has occurred because all of a sudden the person that seems so interested in the house now no longer exists when you try to follow up with the email and phone calls. And so they kind of put two and two together. A savvy salesperson would do that. But most of the time during the shop, they don't know it's occurring because you have so many shoppers all across the country. You're constantly seeing a different face. Um, so at least that's the goal. And again, we're at the Jeff Shore Sales Leadership Conference. Tell me one thing that you've taken away from this event so far. Oh, wow. Well, it just started. Um, like Jeff always says, it's really just about the establishing rapport, whether it's with your team, whether it's with a prospective buyer, it's just being authentic and showing that you're truly invested in someone because people buy from people. Well, I'm here with Kimberly Young. It's been fun to, to, to turn the tables on you because yeah. you're always filming everybody else. I know. Now I got you on, uh, new, how's it feel to be on newhomesales.com? It's great. And I wish you the best of luck. This is just fantastic. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Great. Impact marketing.